Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in yesterday's video, I believe we finished up the flower um, arrangement things that we were doing. And pardon my hands, I have Kool-Aid because it's not really Kool-Aid, it's uh, Crystal Light anyway. I have some on my fingers. But I'm going to show you the ones that I did off camera. I actually haven't recorded for a couple days. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, but I will show you the ones that I finished off camera. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Um, okay. So this one I did in the kind of light purple lavender color. So there's that one. And this one's got a resin flower on it. It's really pretty. And then there's this one. It looks a lot shinier than it really is because my lights are very, very bright. And then there's that one. So that is one of the sets that I did off camera. I'm just going to throw these back in this little bag here um, and I do have these already on um, the shop uh, I posted them um, well today's Sunday and so I'm going to post them this evening so they will be up and ready for you guys um, hopefully <laughs> by the time you see this this was the blue set that I decided to do so there's that one there there's that one. I love this one. That metal snowflake looking thing. Oh, I love it. And then there's this one here with that really pale light blue flower. So there's that one. And and I did make four uh, four sets of each of these just like I did the others. Um, this one we did on camera, you probably remember, but this is what the full complete set looks like. Okay. And then the last one, no, I lied, there's two more. So then there's this one, the pink and teal, if you guys remember this one. I love this metal piece right here. Oh, that's probably my favorite out of all of them. Okay, so there's that one. And now the last one. I just wanted to show you guys these before I got them on the shop. Um, well, as I'm getting them on the shop rather, because technically they're going up this evening. Because I've already made the listings, I just need to um, I just need to post it to make it live. And then this is the neutral colored one. All right. And now today what we're going to do is we're going to make some tags because I need some tags and I'm just going to set these all aside. And I need some tags. We have an altered book we're playing with and we have um, some different projects that I have coming up. So there are six tags here. I think I'm going to leave you zoomed in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to zoom you out just a smidge though. There we go. So I'm just going to, I have this pile of stuff here and I'm kind of, there's doilies in here. There's other stuff in here. There's some lace bits. There's some of the little flower rosettes. Um, here's another one. That one I really want to use because I think that'll match my book really well. There's some pieces of lace, another piece of lace here and here for that matter. Um, there's a little snippet. Like I'm not real sure what this pile was. It was just like it started growing so I figured I should probably use it eventually. So here we are. I hope I didn't just do something because I clicked my mouse button. All right, let me 
make sure we're still recording. We're still recording. All right. I'm going to set that over there. And grab my lace that I'm working with with the journal. And I'm going to put this on a couple pieces. And I think I'm going to use Fabri-Tac because it'll keep them pretty flat. Oh, so the reason I haven't recorded in the past couple of days, I had to go to the hospital. Um, because I, my daughter checked the mail and, um, there was, you know, there was a box in there for me and I was like, yay. So I opened it up. It was on my dining room table. I opened it up and started playing with it. And I was just like, oh, I should probably put this in my office. So I picked up the box. It was not a big box. It was not a heavy box. It wasn't anything bad or extravagant. I took five, four or five steps and I felt something rip in my calf. And I will tell you that I had never in my life felt any kind of sensation like that. It was the most bizarre thing I'd ever felt in my life. It was the most painful thing. Um, and that says a lot because I've got two sleeves. Okay. And it was so painful. I, I nearly fell. Had I not had a bookshelf on either side of me, I would have fallen for sure. Um, but I didn't. But I called my husband at work because um, I had actually called him because my youngest daughter, Sydney, my baby, she's sick. Um, we don't know what it is exactly. It's something to do with her belly. Her belly doesn't feel good. She just can't really explain what it is about her belly. She just knows her belly doesn't feel good. So, um, anyway, so I was talking to him throughout the day because of Sydney not feeling well. And I had literally just got off the phone with the nurse, um, about Sydney and then this thing happened with my foot or with my calf and so I told him I was just like you know I'm pretty sure Sydney's all right uh I'm not sure about me he's like what'd you do he's like uh walked he's like how far <laughs> it's like four or five steps it's like what happened and I told him what happened and he was like you need to go to the hospital you need to, uh, well, you need to call your PCM, which is our primary care physician. Um, and he's like, you need to call your PCM and get an appointment like now. I was like, why? He's like, because if you tore your muscle, they are going to most likely have to have surgery. You're most likely going to have to have surgery to repair it. I'm like, oh, that's, that's encouraging. Thank you. So... <laughs> I called my PCM and they were like, well, we close in two hours. It's a three day holiday. So the soonest we're going to be able to see you is Tuesday. I was like, well, Tuesday's not going to work because my husband has pre-op on Tuesday. So that's not going to work. And so they're just like, well, what we can do is we can make you an appointment for Wednesday, but we really want you to go see an urgent care or an ER tonight. I was like, fantastic. So I went to the urgent care. I called the urgent care first. I was like, Hey, this is what's going on. What do you guys suggest that I do? And they're like, well, you can come in. It's not going to hurt anything. And we can look at it and we can assess and, you know, best advise you then. Um, but we cannot take an ultrasound or an MRI. We don't have the equipment in our office. Um, so if, if that is the imagery that you're looking for, you might want to go just directly to the ER. And I was like, all right, I'll go to urgent care. It's quicker, right? <clears throat> so I was there for a couple hours, not too bad. And um, the doctor saw me and she's like, well, you're not going to like this, but I think you need to go to the ER um, because they need to get an ultrasound of your leg. I was like, what? Why? She's like, because of where it's located, it could be a clot. I was like, excuse me, a what? She said a clot. She said a clot. I was like, um, well, that's not fun, funny, nice, or anything like that. It's kind of scary, actually, because clots can kill you. So I was, um, 
I was scared. And um, yeah. So I decided to go to the ER. We went to the ER. And of course, because I went to urgent care first, we were too late at the ER. The doc was still able to see us, but the tech who does the ultrasound were, was gone for the evening. So I was like, yay. So she had us come back in the morning and she's just like, you know, um, just come back in the morning and we'll do an ultrasound on your leg and we'll give you a blood thinner tonight but everything looks like it is not a blood clot, but I want to make sure, so come back in the morning. And the reason that she thinks that it's not a blood clot is because there's no history in my family. Like, I don't have history. Um, I don't do anything. Like, the only thing that I do that um, would be a red flag for clots is I smoke. Um, but that is literally the only thing. And so, and that's, that was pretty much the reason that they wanted to double check and make sure because that was still there. It was a possibility. It wasn't a likely possibility, but it was a possibility. They wanted to be sure. So all of this happened over the course of the last two days. And so I was being wheeled around in a wheelchair because I physically could not walk. It was ridiculous. Um, but they did the ultrasound yesterday, Saturday morning, and they said for sure it is not a clot. I was like, well, that's good because those blood thinners I think are scarier than the clots. And she's like, yeah, the blood thinners are pretty scary. I was like, yeah, all that information that I was just reading. Um, yeah, that's, that's terrifying. If you cut your finger, you could die. Like it. It's terrifying. So anyway, um, no blood thinners or anything like that. No, they didn't give me like physical therapy or anything like that. They just said to, um, to keep doses, uh, take, uh, what did they say? Four to six doses of ibuprofen a day, which is, uh, 400 milligrams. And, um, they said to, uh, heat it and ice it alternating back and forth right right now it is not heated or iced I'm just sitting in my room uh, after I record this video I'm going to do one more uh, because I want to uh, get ahead just a little bit so I can kind of just sit back and lay in bed basically and stay off my leg because right now my leg is down underneath my chair and so it's not, it's not elevated and it's not circulated or circulated. Yeah. My leg's not circulated. Uh, <laughs> it's not circulating as well, I guess. I'm not sure, but, um, what I'll probably do is I'll probably do a couple shorter videos, maybe 45 minutes instead of an hour. Uh, that way you guys still have something of substance substance, but not, you know, crazy long and that way I can get a, a little tiny bit ahead and get some some rest on my leg because it's not as bad today as it as it was Friday Friday was terrible um, Friday I I couldn't walk like it it didn't matter how small a step I took it didn't matter anything uh, I was hopping around and being wheeled around because I physically could not walk. It was the most bizarre feeling ever. And I still have that like sensation in my leg if I step too far. Um, so if, if I, if my stride is too wide, then my calf will let me know it because it'll be like, eh, eh, pull back. And I'm like, okay, fine. You know, whatever. You're the boss. So I'm just taking um, ibuprofen. They did give me some Tylenol. It was a, uh, it's called Narco. I did not like it, not at all. I do not like narcotics. Um, I don't like any kind of like brain stimulants in the sense of like, I don't even like taking my migraine medication because I don't like the way that it makes my head feel. Uh, you know, like that, uh, 
that drunk feeling, that hangover feeling you used to get when you were younger, or sometimes if you get now, I don't know, I don't, I don't judge, I don't pretend, you know, to know everybody's lives. Anyway, um, I don't like that feeling, and so I didn't know that that's what she was giving me, because I'm a ding-dong and didn't ask, but, um, yeah, it was not my favorite, so I'm actually kind of glad they didn't give me anything, because I probably wouldn't have gotten it filled anyway, not unless it was 800 milligrams of ibuprofen. In that case, I would have gotten it filled, because um, I don't think I can buy ibuprofen for less than my insurance pays because my insurance is uh, TRICARE but anyway um, that's how I've been doing over the weekend how about you guys <laughs> uh, Sydney is doing better she's she still doesn't have much of an appetite um, but she is drinking so that's a really good sign um, we actually just made her some hot tea. I made her some chamomile and mint tea. And she was upset because I didn't put enough honey in it. She's like, it's so bland. Because, like, it has two tablespoons of honey, child. She's like, but it's so bland. Because she took, because I have honey straws, you know, like the straws that you, anyway. Um, and she, she took one and she put it in there. But that's actually a good sign that she got up and she, you know, added something to her tea that made it, you know, tastier for her, uh, that's a good sign. It's a very good sign. And she doesn't have a fever. The highest that she's been so far is 99. So she doesn't have a fever, nothing like that. Um, I might just layer this thing with lace. This is kind of cool. Uh, let's see. I have a doily right here. I'm going to play with that. That'll be fun. Alright, I'm going to put the doilies away. Or not away, but I'm just going to set them over there. I've got this bag of vintage lace that I got from, uh, it's actually from Germany. But I got it from Eve. So she does have things in her shop that is vintage uh, lace and vintage um, collars, uh, things like that. She has all kinds of really pretty things like that. Like it's just it's so cool. So we're gonna take uh, a piece of this. This is already cut, so let's grab that. Oh yeah, that's that's really cool. Okay. I am going to have to repunch this hole though. I think that or I could just cut it here. Y'all have to let me know if this whole zoomed in thing works for you. I'm not sure that I've zoomed in this far before. And kept it there, I mean. Alright. So let's see. Oh, we can do that. That's actually pretty perfect. Because then I can cover up what I just cut and leave the hole open. Also do it that way. I like that. Alright, so let's cut this little bit off here. And you can get to Eve's shop through my description box. It's under the design teams that I'm on. You can find her website through there, or her Etsy shop. All right, I think I'm going to do 
do that. I like that. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is tack a little bit of it down with the hot glue just so it stays put. No wonder. I think that's the right side. Okay, yeah, I think that's the right side. Let's try that again. Uh, there we go. And you can use hot glue throughout. I just like using the Fabri-Tac because it's a little bit less dimension added to the whatever it is you're working on. If you have time to let it dry, I think the Fabri-Tac is a great option. So anyway, yeah, Sydney is doing better. I gave her some um, some chamomilla mint tea, and she doesn't have a fever or anything like that, so that's good. Um, the older kids are doing good. Um, it was actually Haven that noticed Sid wasn't feeling well. I don't remember what I was doing. I think I was helping Porter or something. Anyway, um, she had noticed that Sid wasn't feeling well, and so she had told me, and I was like, "Oh!" So I called I called Dad at work, and he's like, "Well, even though it's a mild mild rise in temperature, you still need to call the nurses hotline and ask their advice." So they said that if she gets above a hundred then 100.3 specifically then we have to take her in to get tested um, but that actually kind of stinks a little bit because the test site that we have here local to us is in Charleston and while I was at the hospital um, I was at a different hospital because there's like five hospitals just in the 20-30 minute radius of me because we're in a tri-county area like there's three counties right here so there's hospitals everywhere anyway um so i was in the hospital for berkeley county i think i don't even know uh no actually i wasn't i was in dorchester county not that it matters anyway doesn't matter beside the point so um that's close too much i think uh anyway i was at the hospital and while we were there there was a um, a news story of the Medical University of South Carolina, which is in Charleston, which is where we go to get the test done for COVID. Um, it there was a fire, and they had to like shut down half the hospital. I was like, well, I guess it's a good thing we didn't have to take her in today. Actually, Wayne said that. Um, good thing we didn't have to go down there and I was just like why would we go down there like we have three hospitals that are closer to us than than Charleston he's like not for you I was like oh I knew that <laughs> oh that's funny um, okay so I have these really really cool um, hearts and padded things from um, I don't remember her first name. I'm such a terrible person. I think it's Rachel. It's not Rachel. Hold on. It's Padded Heart Company. I know that. And I will have to link her uh, down there for you guys. Um, but where are you? 
I know I've, you know, I don't know that I have a card from her. Yeah, I don't think I have a card from her. Um, no. All right, I'm going to have to uh, look on my Etsy shop my messages to figure out her name because I forgot. I'm really, really terrible at names. I am so sorry. I don't think she watches my channel, so that's, I mean, at least I don't have to worry about not a, a, uh, offending her because I'm fairly certain she doesn't watch my channel. Um, oh, that's a Christmas one. That was an extra special gift she sent me. Um, I think I want an image, but I think the images might all be too big. Because she does this amazing quilt work. It is fabulous. I love it. And I've, I've bought a lot of her work. And I love just adding her work to my work to accent it. It's just, it's so cool. Um, oh, this one's really pretty. So most of them are already open. I had recently got a special order for her to make smaller ones for me because I use the smaller ones the most and she was so accommodating. It was absolutely amazing. Okay, I think I want to leave some of this open. So I think I really like that. Oh, I like that skinny one too. a little bit different. Um, I think I like these better for this skinny. I think I like this one the best. Where'd you go? Oh, that one's cute. Where's that? Oh, there you are. I think I like the shorter one better. Okay. So, um, like I said, this is padded heart and they're, like I said, they're quilted and most of her things are hearts. So her name is very fitting. I'm going to go ahead and dump these out real quick. So I'm not sitting here fussing with the plastic. I know some of you guys don't like that sound. I personally love that sound, but I know a lot of you don't like it. All right. So that's it. Are we done? Oh, that one's pretty too. I think this one's similar to this other one though. Where'd you go? I don't know where you went. That one, yeah. They're similar. They're shaped slightly different, I think. Just a smidge. See, even the quilt on the back is so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. Uh, I'm not going to use those just yet. And let's see. I don't think I'm going to make a pocket out of this. I have in the past, but I don't think I'm going to with this one. Um, maybe. I don't know. And again, I might. That's really cute. I think I might do it. Okay. All right. And so now we have a cute little pocket right here. And we can put super teeny tiny tags in. I don't know if I have super teeny tiny tags. I think those might be telling us maybe look at that isn't that cute we'd have to dress that up a little bit 
and I think maybe cut it. Or, or what we could do is we could take a couple of these tickets here and we can put those in there like that. Oh, I like that better. Oh yeah, I like that better. Okay, so that's one. And I think we'll do one more and do this one. And these tags I got from Miss Caroline, also on Etsy. Um, and like I said before, I will be doing Etsy shares. Like as long as I'm not buying from my suppliers, I have no problem sharing with you guys. I'm not going to share with you guys my suppliers. Obviously, that doesn't make any sense. But I will share with you guys, like if I find something or, you know, if I go somewhere, because I watch Miss Gail a lot and she also does the same thing. And if I find something that I think is like truly extraordinary, like for instance, these tags, these hearts, um, papers and such that I've gotten in the past, I will most definitely share with you guys. I don't want to cover that up. What can I put here that's not going to cover this up? Let's see, what have we got in here? Well, this one's pretty. I like that one too. You guys can't see, you can only see the bottom or the top part, which doesn't really have anything spectacular in it. I'm just digging through here. I think I'm going to grab these two. We need to make some more of these guys here because I use these a lot, especially like in the little, um, like in little tags and the little goodie bags and such that I make for my customers. Oh, see, that is awesome. So simple, so elegant. I love that. See, I like this one better. All right, we're going to do that. Okay, well, we might do one more. I didn't expect that to be quite so easy. And see, that's a lot of things that um, will make your projects go by much quicker is um, having things pre-done. Like I have a lot of embellishments that are pre-done. Some of them I made and some of them I bought from other artists. These I made, I sell these. Um, the hearts, I cannot quilt. I bought them and she does beautiful work. And I love how her work accents my work, so I have no problem supporting her. And she's super sweet, too. All right, so let's see. What else do we have over here? Um, there's another lace here. Another one here. Oh, when I said that, I just wanted to say another one bites the dust. Choo -choo. I don't know why. There's them too. I like that. All right, let's go back over here. Oh, I missed one. All right. I like that. I'm going to put that right on top of that hole so it doesn't cover the hole. I know that doesn't make any sense, but it is in fact true. There we go. And I'm probably going to use hot glue on this one just because it's very wrinkly and the hot glue will help smooth it out without ironing it because I have no idea if I can iron this stuff. This is vintage German lace. No idea what, like I don't know anything about this stuff. 
I know it's old and I know it's fragile and it's beautiful. Other than that, I know nothing. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ooh. Actually, that is kind of cool. Um, let's see. <laughs> that's pretty nifty. I like that. what else we got over here we got this one this one's pretty pink but by doing this you can cover a lot of that pink up oh come here no I don't like that all right um This one's pretty. Oh, it might be too pink. Too pink. That's pretty. I think that one actually might work pretty perfectly. Then again, I could just glue it down like that. I think that might work better. Honestly, let's see what else we got. We got a silver one. Um, a neutral colored one that might be kind of too big. But do you see what I mean? I use a lot of the smaller pieces. Um, I like this. Mm. Let's go back over here. You know what? I could also just cut that off. I think I like that better. All right, I'm gonna cut this part off. Not the whole thing, just this this little guy right here. And that's kind of what these are, is just kind of putting your stuff down, picking it up, putting it down, putting, picking it, or just doing that over and over and over again. And now I have a little flower that I can play with. So that's going to go over there. I'm going to glue these down. I think I'm just going to glue this one straight down. Instead of making that a pocket. I apparently glue it to my paper. Not sure if you heard that. That was pretty loud. Somebody in my kitchen. All right, so my foot is starting to go to sleep, uh, and my phone's going off. So my foot's starting to go to sleep. So I'm gonna have to get up and start walking around a little bit. Um, so I'm probably gonna take a little bit of a break. Uh, I will record another video today, so you'll have one for tomorrow, which is Monday, and then you'll also have one for Tuesday. So, um, 
and hopefully I won't miss any videos. But if I do, please understand, I'm not trying to ignore you guys. I'm not going to disappear again. I'm just, uh, I'm in a lot of pain because I don't know if anybody's ever pulled a muscle. Um, but it doesn't feel good, especially when it's in an area where you need it to function every day. Um, like, I mean, I've slept wrong and I, I don't know if maybe that's similar, but I've slept wrong where you have like a crank in your neck, but I was still able to function. I just couldn't twist my neck. Right. Uh, this makes it hard to walk around, but it is getting better. It is gradually getting better. I am able to walk around now. Um, it only hurts if I extend too far. So it is getting significantly better. Um, I don't think I will have any lapses in the videos. I just want to make sure that you guys are prepared just in case there is, which I don't think there will be. So I'm just moving a little bit of stuff out of the way so you guys can see what we did today in our 40 minute video. Um, I do like these a lot. I think that they will definitely be able to go into a lot of my journals, a lot of my things, uh, because I do keep a very neutral, um, shabby ish -esque feel to things. And, um, I really think that they'll accent quite nicely. What I did forget to do was stamp them before I decorated them because I like to stamp them before I decorate them because it makes it easier for the stamp to sit and like be legible. Uh, and it's just my handmade by journey of crafting or handmade by Natasha. That's all it is. Um, and I need to put a date on there, but I don't have, I didn't create one with the date. I only created the regular old stamp that says handmade by, you know, more. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. Um, and I'm going to go take a break. Hopefully I will be able to get back in here and create another video for you guys for Tuesday. And I hope to see you guys then. So thank you guys so much for joining me today and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.